An incredibly important game for Bayern this weekend as they take on Union Berlin. Let's get right into it. Welcome to Talking Bayern, the one-stop shop for Bayern Munich content on YouTube. Today we're just doing a match preview of the game between Bayern Munich and Union Berlin. So getting right into it, how are Bayern doing? Well, Bayern are currently top of the table with a 19-3-4 record. However, we have only won one, two games in our last five, and it feels like we're really losing momentum in 2022. Not to mention, Dortmund are closer than ever with just four points to separate us. I mean, that is, that is very close. I know we're getting to the end of the season, but we can't continue to drop points at this rate. You know, we've only picked up two wins in the last five. We can't do this. If we continue this race, I mean, the title race is over. I do think we'll pick it up, but still, we need to really shape up um, and you know, we're coming off a 1-1 draw against Hoffenheim. I don't think that's the worst result ever, honestly. I know it's another, you know, another time we drop points, but still, I think we can move past this. If we start scoring again, we'll a little solidify on the defense, and I think we're kind of back in business. As for opponents, Union Berlin are having another very impressive season, sitting at 8th in the table with a 10-8-8 record. However, they have not been playing well at all recently, and they've won just one fixture in their last six. Um, it seems like they were on track to European competition this year. Um, obviously, they qualified for Conference League last year, but they've fallen off the path a bit. I mean, they were sitting in a Champions League spot. I think they were fourth or fifth, you know, for a while there. So definitely in Europe, um, and they've really dropped off. I mean, their last result was a 1-1 draw against a relegation side Stuttgart. But, you know, they have to start winning games. They have to start doing better if they want to stay in Europe. I don't think they will personally, um, but that's just me. So expected lineups for this match for Bayern Munich, coached by Julian Nagelsmann. So outer doubtful for Bayern will be Alfonso Davies and Leon Goretzka, as well as Nicolas Sula with a hamstring injury. Our lineup should look something like Neuer Net, a three-back with Lucas Hernandez, Diet of Meccano, and Benjamin Pavard. In the midfield, Musial and Kimmich. In the attacking midfield, Kingsley Coman, Lee Sané, Thomas Muller, and Serge Gnabry, with Robert Lewandowski up top. Honestly, this lineup is, um, I almost, you know, 100% certain this is the exact lineup we will go out with. Um, I can't really see anything changing, um, you know, especially with uh, Sula injured. I do see Upamakano kind of being the one to come in. So I'm, you know, with 90% certainty, this will be the lineup we go with. And I think it's, you know, a good enough job. You know, obviously, we're missing Davies and Gretzka so much. I would love to go back to that four-back with kind of, you know, Alfonso Davies more as more of a wing-back and more of a kind of a midfield or attacking role sometimes, but... Obviously, injury issues have kept out two of our best players for quite some time, so we really need them back. Hopefully, you know, we can keep this four-point cushion on Dortmund during that time until we have them back. As for our opponent, Union Berlin are being coached by Urs Fischer. Out or doubtful from this match is Endo, Haraguchi, Ostinali, Promel, and Gizelman. The middle line should look something like Luthanet. In the midfield, Baumgartel, Notch, and Jackal with Kadir as a CDM. In the midfield, Ospika. Mowald, Becker, and Trimmel with Mikel and Awanawi up top. So some insights. I, you know, this is a crucial game for Byron who needs to stabilize their season. You know, we're kind of falling off right now, and it's a bit worrying if I'm being completely honest. Uh, we're still missing Gretzky and Davies, who are, you know, so important to our play style and success. Obviously, as I said, Davies was so fundamental for our attack and just moving up that left side um, pretty much this entire season. So, you know, we're sorely missing them, and we went the back. I think they'll be back, you know, both next month, but still, I mean, we can't keep dropping points. In the meantime, it seems like the season's kind of failing away. I really want that 10th straight Bundesliga title. Um, who knows if we'll get it. It's going to be a close one, at least, you know, for the neutral. It's going to be quite an exciting end, I do think. On the other hand, Union Berlin need to start picking up points again if they want to qualify for European competition, but I'm not sure they'll get on track, especially with Frankfurt chasing them. I think Frankfurt is a better team. So I don't see you know, Berlin you know, qualifying for Europa League this year, you know, maybe Conference League. Um, but I do think Frankfurt is going to be kind of coming out of the pack right now. In their Bundesliga history, Bayern have only played Rottweiss, Oberheisen, and SV Darmstadt more often than Union Berlin without ever losing. So obviously we can be optimistic. We do seem to get the better of Union Berlin. However, Bayern are winless in two Bundesliga games for the first time since February 2021. The last time since Bayern had a longer, winless run in the competition was in November 2018 under Niko Kovac. Obviously, we all remember the dark times with Niko Kovac as our manager. So let's not replicate that. We need a win here. We absolutely can't drop points in three straight matches. Um, or, you know, Nagelsmann's a really good man to fire. So, yeah, I mean, we really, really need this win like so badly. So we can't drop points. A tie is not good enough. Bayern have also failed to win... Four of their nine Bundesliga matches in the second half of the season after only failing to win three 
of their matches in the first half. I mean, 17 points is Bayern's lowest points tally, nine games in the second half of the season since 2011-2012. Bayern have only scored once in each of their last three Bundesliga matches. The last time they failed to score more than once in four consecutive league matches was in 2015 under Pep Guardiola. Union Berlin have only won one of their last six Bundesliga matches, with only Hertha Berlin picking up fewer points in this period. So obviously, I'm going to go into the insights, but this game clearly has a lot of implications, a lot of records um, and streaks Bayern does not want to have. So, you know, a win here kind of puts us back. It still could mean we're only four points ahead, but I mean, if we drop points, that could mean, you know, we're only one point ahead or only two points ahead of tournament, which is very scary to think about, especially with Derek Oscar coming up. I mean, that game was probably going to decide the title. So really, you know, exciting time, really a bit of a nervous time, but... You know, this should be a good match. And I'm just, you know, happy that it, you know, it is close. I don't think it's, you know, I'm great to run away by like 20 points. So I'm glad the title race is close. But don't get me wrong, I still really want to win this title. And, um, you know, it doesn't need to be that close. I, at the end of the day, most important that we win over a close title race. So my players to watch for this game, for Bayern, it's going to be Robert Lewandowski. We need him to shine. He is our best player. Uh, he needs to score goals and be the player that we need to bring us out of this drought. Um, this season can turn around very poorly, um, very quickly, honestly, if we don't get the result here. So we need our best player to shine his brightest on Saturday. As for opponents, I picked him earlier in the season. I'm going to pick him again. It's Tawo Awoniwi. This Nigerian striker has been exceptional for Union Berlin this season with 11 goals. I know he's definitely cooled off recently. Um, definitely. I know he's one of the top scorers earlier on. He'd be dropped off a bit. Still, he has 11 goals and expected goals of 10.4. You can't you know, complain too much with those numbers, especially as a striker for Union. He's clearly one of the top strikers in the league this year. So my prediction for this game, I'm going to predict a 2-1 win for Bayern Munich. It has to be a win. All three points are needed. And I can see you know, a brace from Lewandowski and a goal from Awaniwi. So... That's my prediction for this game. I'm very, very excited for this one. I'm also very excited to do my Champions League draw reaction. I'll be doing that tomorrow, so look out for that video. But if you did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like and a comment. And if you want to see more Bayern Munich content like this in the future, please subscribe to this channel. Hope to see you all in the next one. Until then, mia sa mia.